Hey everybody, this is Denver Broncos Fanatic. Today I want to talk about the Peyton Manning situation and the Tim Tebow trade. Peyton Manning, I understand he's a good player. I understand he's got four MVP titles to his belt. He's got a Super Bowl ring. He's passed for more yards in his career than John Elway. But no one really knows how far along that neck actually is. He said in his press conference being introduced as a Denver Bronco that if he had to play that coming Sunday, he could. But that's just something he's saying. He could be saying that and being, oh crap, I'm at 70 when I should be at 90, or oh crap, I'm at 50 when I could be at 70, or so on and so forth. And we don't know how far along until he's been examined, and that's been released by the Denver Broncos team doctors. I understand there have been a bunch of people seeing like a video of him throwing the ball with like Brandon Stokely, and I think there are videos of his workouts too with the... Niners, the Titans, and the Broncos. But anyway, we will never know until he actually gets on the field and takes that first hit. Secondly, I want to talk about the Tim Tebow trade. I'm kind of scratching my head on that one. Yes, I know John Elway, John Fox, Brian Sanders, they're all trying to do what's best for the organization. I understand that. But Tim Tebow brought him back to the playoffs, AFC West champions, and they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in the wild card. I understand, like I said, they're trying to do the be what's best for the organization, but that leaves him with one quarterback, Adam Weber, former University of Minnesota player. And I'm sure Adam Weber had a good collegiate career, but he has not played much, if at all, in a real-time non-preseason pro game. So Adam Weber, heads up to you if you're staying with the team, which I hope you are. Learn as much as you possibly can from Peyton Manning, because... Lord knows how long he's going to be there. This is Denver Broncos Fanatic signing out. Peace.